we normally compare this year against last year or this week against last week or, you know, this period against previous period. But what if you want to compare week five this year with week 12 last year or two years ago? Let me show you how that is done. So this is what we're going to create. We will have uh, this uh, slicer here that we will have a date. We can pick any time period that we want and it will give us the sales for that period. And then we're going to have another slicer for dates and we can put another period in there and it will do the difference. Then you can use these two measures and do the difference, the variance and percentage and all that stuff. Okay, so this is the North Wind data set and I'm going to put the file on the download center. I'm going to put the last two files also in the download center. Apologies, I always forget. So, Northwind dataset, you know, is the normal orders, order details, products, calendars, and customers. And uh, what we need is to have another calendar. So we cannot filter two periods with the same calendar because they will filter each other. So we need to have, if we go back to Power Query, we are going to have a new calendar. We're going to get the one what we have, duplicate it, and I'm going to call it compare periods. The reason why I give this name is because I don't want the user, if it ever finds it, I don't want the user to think that this is a normal calendar, so it, with a weird name, maybe I think like, ooh, maybe it's something else. And I only want the date, actually. I don't want everything else. So up, up to here, I'm going to delete. If you need a year, month, or if you need to keep it, I'm just going to give the two slices as you saw them, so I just need the date. I'm going to close and apply. And then we're going to go back to the modeling part. And then here we have my new calendar. It's not a calendar anymore. It's just a date column, but anyway. And I'm going to join the date with the order date. This is a, a table that contains the orders by date. So this is the one that I need to connect. And let me show you these before I do it the way it should supposed to be. So we have here the calendar, we have the comparing periods in there. I'm going to put it in there as a slicer. Perfect. And this is going to be uh, period two. So we have period one, period two. This is going to be, I want to make it a little bit different so you actually see that they are different. So I'm going to change that and I'm going to actually change the color of the slicer so there's a difference, a visual difference. Now, if I now change the slicer here, as you can see, it's affecting our table. And the reason for that is because we have an active relationship between this table and this table. So both calendars now are filtering the table and we don't want that. So to avoid that, I'm going to make this relationship inactive. And as you can see now, whatever I did in this calendar, nothing is going to happen here, which is exactly what we want. Inactive relationships are extremely useful when you want to be in charge of how relationships affect the table. And this is exactly what we need here. So we have now, this doesn't do anything. This does exactly what is supposed to be filtered in this table. We're going to create a new measure. We're going to go here, uh, new measure. And this is going to be sales period two. And what we're going to do here is a very, very simple one is calculate. And then obviously we're going to calculate the sales. Go away. And now we're going to activate the relationship. So I'm going to do user relationship. And this is from orders or the date to compare periods date. Right there, I'm going to put it in here. And now it's giving me something. So so as you can see, it's kind of working, but when we get into a period that is not within this period, it doesn't give us anything because this calendar is affecting the table. So we need to go back to our 
measure and do get rid of all the filters that come from calendar. I don't want them. And boom, <laughs> we get our result. So now, part of the desktop is just broken. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the, this is the normal sales, so there's nothing to check in here. I check always just measures, always, always, always. Even if you follow my tutorials, if your model is slightly different, you might get different results, check your measures. So I've done it very quickly. I just copied the period one and then left series sales period one and I took the same interval that I had on the comparing period. So it's 369, 695, 369, 695 is actually working, okay? Make sure that you test your measures, you never know. So this is it, I hope this is useful. I will put the download number on the description or the title, and then you will be able to get the two previous downloads. I apologize for that. I'm trying, I will try to get better in to give you all my demo files, because why not? I mean, I surely appreciate it when I get them, so you should get mine for sure. I will see you again next week with another Power BI video. Take care.